Have you ever wanted to know how to make this I wanna go to the moon. sound like this? I wanna go to the moon. What's going on everybody, Toy Crab Lord back again. Today we're going to be doing the requested moon tutorial. A very ambient psychedelic sound that I was able to get very quickly. If you ain't subscribed, hit subscribe notification bell as well. Please leave a like and drop a comment down below. It'll help me stay relevant and be pushed out to other things. Anyway, also my description down below is chock full of sweet things including preset packs where I'm working on new ones as we speak. Anyway, Don Tolliver Moon by Kanye West. Let's get the video. The guy who made this instrumental is right here. This is him, if I'm holding something. Right below the track we're going to be talking on, I'm bringing a blank track. And we're going to start off like this. <laughs> So I'm gonna name this new lead, and it's right under the moon vocal effect that you heard. Look how small this chain is, look how simple it is, and it's so effective. Now before we get into doing this vocal effect, I want to tell you that this is very simple. What you got to know is that I'm going to bring the dry track down. You will then hear the vocal in its dry properties. This is my beautiful voice, dry. <laughs> I wanna go to the moon. I tend to sound like a dying animal sometimes, and that's okay because roadkill is sometimes so chill. First thing we want is pitch correction. Let's bring it over. I can't exactly tell you what key to do, but I got major scale F for this. I can't tell you what your song's gonna be in, but auto tune complements the main plug into this very well. Response time at 12, you can even make it zero. Make it whatever you want. It's very up to you. I don't care if Don Tolliver doesn't use auto tune. If he does or he doesn't, ah! Deadpool. <laughs> Onto my desk. And we close it. And we just pitch correction, you're gonna get this beautiful sounding vocal. I wanna go to the moon. Woo. Next is compressor, because you gotta compress it. Dynamics, compressor, mono. Inside of it, we have a studio VCA that is the red one. It's my favorite. You gotta know to have auto gain off. And also this auto's off as well. But my threshold's very big, negative 37 and a half, because I wanted the first compressor to be just as big as possible. 5.6 to 1 ratio with a 5 on the makeup, because it's pretty heavy. Attack is 65 and release at 120. Neither of them are very fast, but that's how I felt this vocal was. Auto gain off and auto's off as well. Close it. We'll play it with just pitch correction and compressor. I wanna go to the moon. This is a first time Crab Lord special. I'll put a multipressor second after the compressor. Dynamics multipressor mono. It is a multi band compressor, so it is more compression. So at first I spaced these out. We got 200, 1100, and 11900. I didn't want the high end to peak too much, so I took it down immediately, minus 15 and a half, with a little threshold of 32. The three I raised it to, but then I minus 33 and a half on the threshold. Two, we did nothing with the decibels, but we made it negative 30 on the threshold again. And then one, I just made minus 10 and then minus 44 to compress it all the way. Who knows if I know what I'm talking about, but it still sounds good. So that's all that matters. Minus 0.4 on the output. That makes me think it's not going to peak. With the compressor stacked and ready to attack. I want to go to the moon. Nice and smooth, I like it. Now we add the cleanup channel EQ, EQ channel EQ mono. Go inside of it, it's pretty simple. Since I already took away a lot of the low in the multipressor, I'm not gonna worry about that too much. So we took the orange to about 190, minus two. Took this green to about 500, dropped the negative one. Blue to 1K, plus one, not too wide. We took the purple to about 2K and raised it three. I do that a lot, part of my philosophy. Now we have the most important plugin when it comes to this vocal effect, is a chorus. Now you heard the changes, didn't you? Modulation, chorus, mono to stereo. This is gonna give it a stereo spread effect, but also give it that kind of weird flanged effect that comes through a chorus. I don't really understand these plugins to the fullest capacity, but I will say I got an 80% mix, intensity to 15%, the intensity can ruin, ruin the entire thing, and also rate can 0.5 if I have it up here. It kind of sounds like a fan. With those plugins, it's all like this. I wanna go to the moon. That's the most important plugin, technically. The space designer gives it its ambient flair. Double kill. Can I be a voice actor? Now that is found in Reverb Space Designer Mono Stereo. There's so many different reverbs, but I prefer Space Designer every time. I went up to the top and did a large plate, 4.4 second big, with a negative 10 wet and zero dry. It means that the dry vocal is fully there and the wet vocal is minus 10 there. Now the effect's not fully present, but your main voice is. I farted and I hope you didn't hear it. Output EQ, just a simple little cutoff at around 13,000 and then a little tiny drop at 50, just to sharpen up the reverb. Now without the bus, which isn't really needed that much, it's like this. You're chugging along like Thomas the Tank Engine. Now go to this empty cell, click bus one. Bus one's gonna appear right over on this side of your screen. Adding this, it, it kind of adds volume to it. So we have is a dynamics compressor stereo. It also gives a compressed stereo effect, which I don't know if it does anything, but all I did was go to the top and I used the preset voice bright vocal. And then within the bright vocal, I don't know if I actually changed it. So if I did change it, pause the screen. I totally forgot, but my guess is that I didn't change it. So here you go. And we have it set at negative five and the full Vocal sounds like this. So 
Isn't that just... Well, if you're lucky enough to make it this far, that is the full vocal. It was very easy, but it's very effective, like I said. Now that we did that, now we can just freestyle and have a great time with this vocal. Which I don't know what I could even do freestyle-wise, but here we go. Oh boy, I can't see. I bought this from Party City because it was 50 bucks. And if it's kind of funny. I gotta wear something over the crotch area Cause if I don't, they'll see the outline of my crotch Oh, it's ripping This thing kinda tight on me This thing kinda tight on me Oh god, my hair. It's caught my hair caught up. That's gonna be an issue. I had to take the hood off so I could see. This Deadpool outfit's so nice. It's very red as you can see. Get the f out of here. I'm having conversations with water bottles. Well, that's about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed that video and learned something as well. And if you didn't, you're lying to me. Like I said before, make sure to subscribe and already subscribe to the notification bell as well. Drop a like, drop a comment. I should be looking at the comment section more than I have in the past couple weeks. But thanks for the suggestion. This was a lot of fun to make. This has been a how to sound like Don Toliver in the song Moon using only stock plugins and Logic Pro 10. Like always, love you guys. Meow.